Hi everyone. Hi everyone. Welcome back to Hanson Never Done Farms on this beautiful Wednesday morning. Cold but beautiful. Yeah, cold. We just got back from the butcher. Had our pig taken in for processing and just got it back. And as promised, we said we would share that with you guys. So without further ado, um, now we took the red pig. Um, you guys know her as Mo. Um, when we dropped her off, she was weighed at 266 pounds. Um, her hanging weight, which was um, eviscerated and without the head. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry guys, I know it sounds really, really bad. But her hanging weight was 198 pounds. Um, of that, there's going to be loss because you don't take all the bone. But this is what came home with us. It's quite a bit, really. Yeah, lots and lots. We did not have any of our meat smoked um, because we have chosen instead to do our own smoking. But beautiful, beautiful meat. These are one, <clears throat> one pound. Yep, one pound packages of sausage. We did get quite a bit of sausage done. And we did two different kinds. We did hot, and then we just did a regular country to see which one we liked better. Looks and, good. of course, we had all the fat saved. That's the leaf lard. So they separated the leaf lard for me, which is awesome. But anyways, okay, we're going to get this. <clears throat> I did not get a final cut sheet from them to find out um, how many packages of everything. So we're going to get everything separated and counted, and then we'll get back to you guys. Hi everyone, welcome back to Hanson Never Done Farms. I'm sitting in the office editing a video and looked over and saw my env envelope of our 2023 um, pig cost and thought that I would um, do what I promised I would do and let you guys know what it cost us to bring our pig, what it cost us from the time we brought our pig onto our property to bringing it home from the processor. So, without further ado, um, we showed you guys kind of <clears throat> the different cuts we had, this and that. Um, didn't take video of us unpacking it and putting it in the freezer just because it had started to defrost and we needed to move a lot quicker. Um, our freezer's outside, so we're not in a controlled environment. So, anyways, our pigs cost us, um, we raised three. You guys know we raised one for us. We w raised one for um, Brian and Teresa over at Twin Bridge Farm. And we raised one for my brother um, who lives close to Tulsa. Um, we didn't charge, you know, the, the cost that they paid is the cost that we paid. Just the cost to raise the pig. Um, so everybody paid, you know, the same amount. We bought three pigs. The pigs were $50 each. Um, the piglets were $50 each. And so our initial cost out the door was $150 um, just for the pigs. Um, to feed out the pigs, we um, they went through in five months and I think one day went through 2,250 pounds of feed. So a little over, um, what, a li about a little over a ton of feed those three pigs went through. Um, that's, <laughs> that seems like a lot. <laughs> that seems like a lot. Um, but the total cost of the feed was $510.79. We buy our feed from our mill, Stillwater Milling Company. They mill and make their own feed. And um, we got what's called a hog slopper, um, and it's a 15% protein. And that's pretty much what they were on um, throughout the whole time. There were a few times we would go get feed, and they were out of the slopper, so we would buy the grower, and that was a 16% feed. Cost was a little bit more, but 
um, we might have only had to get maybe six to eight bags of that. Most of it was the slopper. Um, so, <clears throat> for the three pigs, plus all of the feed, a total cost for all of that was $660.79. We split that three ways, so our cost our share of that was $220.25. That was the cost of the pig and the cost of what um, they ate. So that was the initial cost to raise the pig. Um, <clears throat> we took the pig, what I think it was February 16th, when we dropped them off, they were weighed. Our pig weighed 266 pounds at drop off. We had the pig for five months. Um, so 266 pounds whenever we went to pick up the pig so eight or nine days later um, go and pick up our pork um, we got the sheet the cut sheet um, and our hanging weight on um, the pig was 198 pounds so 266 pounds at drop off 198 pounds was what was hanging in the freezer or in the refrigerator um, that's minus the hide the guts and the head so <clears throat> that's whenever you see hanging weight that's what that means um, we paid for a kill fee which is $89 and a disposal fee which was twelve dollars that's included in your processing price um, anyway so that that was that cost out of all of that um, we roughly brought home about 145 pounds of finished product that went into our freezer of that um, we got all the fat, um, and we got, well, we got all the fat that they cut for us. I think there's maybe four, four bags of fat out there for me to process and render down into lard. And they gave us the, um, leaf lard. And that is the lard. It's the purest lard that you can get, um, and it's it's right around the kidneys. They separated that from the lard, which I was, from the fat, which I am ecstatic about. No other processor has ever done that for me, so I was very happy about that. Okay, as far as our cuts go, we got eight packages of country ribs. Those are the, the square, boneless ribs. Um, we got eight packages of those. There's, I think, three, three, three portions in each package. Um, we got six packages, <laughs> which I wished I would have known this. We got six packages of shoulder steaks. The shoulder steaks are about an inch thick, and there are two steaks per package. I wish I would have only done one steak per package because those are big steaks, you guys. Jeff and I will only eat one steak. So, next time I will make sure and just say one steak per package. Um, sausage, we had most of, um, of course, all the scrap meat went into sausage, uh, but we also decided not to save any, um, we only saved two small picnic hams. The rest of it, we all had ground into sausage. Jeff and I aren't big ham eaters, and so we tend to just have um, that ground. I did do a couple picnic hams because I want to test smoking it myself. <clears throat> so, we got 56 packages of sausage. 25 of those packages are regular sausage, and 31 are hot, um, uh, hot flavored. That the hot isn't like burn your face off hot. It's got a good kick to it, and we really like it. Next time, we'll have it all done hot. Um, we didn't do any roast with this pig. Um, I did end up doing, I told them I wanted my loins, the, the loin, um, instead of getting loin chops, I wanted the loins left whole because, um, and that's, it runs along the backbone on either side, and it's just, you know, a good, good you know round of meat and that's what mostly your bone-in pork chops it comes from the loin um i wanted that left hole because i was going to do um uh 
Canadian bacon. And once we got it, I realized I didn't want to do that. We needed the chops this time. The next time we raise a pig, I'll do the Canadian bacon. And so instead of doing what I had intended to do, I took them out, partially defrosted it, and I cut all of both sides of the loin um, into chops. We got 26 packages of chops, two per package. These are boneless. Um, and I did them about three-quarter to an inch thick. Um, we got two pork tenderloins, and they are roughly about that long and about, mm, probably about that big around. Um, we got two of those, which are going to be wonderful. I'm actually kind of almost thinking I might do kind of like a, a, a cured meat out of those. I haven't decided yet. Um, we got the jowl, both sides of the jowl. And we got six packages of ribs. That's short ribs, spare ribs, you know, whatever. And then we did um, the belly, um, both sides, roughly about 20 pounds, um, which I will make into bacon. That That is what's made into bacon. And I chose to do it ourselves because in our experience, the processors tend to get our bacon um, salty. They don't rinse it well enough for my liking and get most of that salt off. And so we find it's better just to do it ourselves and not fight it. So that's our cut sheet. That's basically what we got, 145 pounds of product in our freezer. Um, we chose not to do any organ meat. <coughs> I do not like organ meat, and Jeff isn't. Um, he, likes, he likes some organ meat, but not from pig. So... Um, about 145 pounds of product in our freezer. It cost us $220.25 to raise the pig. And to whenever we went and um, went to the processor, our cost to the processor for our pig was $301.52 for a total price from us bringing the pig onto our property to picking up the pig from the processor. It cost us $521.77. Um, that equals out to about $3.50 a pound of what we have in our freezer. Knowing what went into our pig and knowing what didn't go into our pig, um, I'll leave that right there, it's worth it to me. Um, you can't get quality quality um, meat for that price, not pork. Um, you can go to the grocery store and you can get pork chops for $2.77 a pound, but it's come from, you know, a processor. And it, it's come from a mega processor, and it's not home-raised. So for that price, I'll do it myself. I can't wait to do this again. Jeff and I will be bringing in a couple more pigs um, <clears throat> Hopefully in May, we're looking at April, May turnaround, and we will be raising two pigs for ourselves. I think Brian and Teresa are going to do their own pigs this year. I haven't really talked to my brother, um, but they have property, and I, I think they're going to probably do their own pig. Um, but anyways, we are going to turn and burn. We're going to do this again. Um, Jeff and I both agree that it is 100% worth it. So I hope that helps you guys in um, deciding going forward um, about raising your own pig. It is 100% worth it. It's a quick turnaround in five months. You bring the pig in six months, you take the pig out, and the next time you see it, it's in your freezer, and you have six to eight months or a year's worth of meat, depending on how much pork you eat. Anyways, hope you guys have a great day. Enjoy the sunshine if you get the sunshine. And as always, give us a like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell, and we will catch you on the next video. Thank you for watching.